The cryptocurrency industry is in a state of complete disarray. With a dizzying rally in virtual currencies in 2021, crypto companies began heavily advertising during the Super Bowl just months prior. Companies like Coinbase, which operates the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the United States, have announced layoffs as Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies plummet. Why cryptocurrency prices have fallen so dramatically? Billionaire Crypto Investor is here to help you out. It's time to get started right away, so let's not waste any more time. According to Ed Moya, senior market strategist at financial firm Onda, the crypto house is on fire and everyone is just rushing to the exits because there is a complete loss of confidence in the space. It's because they're suffering the same blows as stocks and other assets. The Federal Reserve is aggressively raising interest rates in an effort to slow inflation, which is rising at its fastest annual pace in more than four decades. The Fed announced a 0.75 percentage point rate hike on and suggested another such move at its upcoming meeting if needed to curb inflation. Increasing fears of a recession are being fueled by higher interest rates, which make borrowing more expensive for individuals and businesses. The broad S&P 500 index entered a bear market this week when an index falls 20% or more from its recent high, continuing a precipitous decline from January's record highs. Crypto winter are the two words that every cryptocurrency investor is talking about. Since their all-time high in 2021, the value of cryptocurrencies has plummeted by $2 trillion, making 2018 a year of devastating declines for the crypto market. Bitcoin, the largest digital currency, has dropped by almost 70% since its record high of nearly $69,000 in November. This has led many analysts to predict an extended bear market in cryptocurrencies, dubbed Crypto Winter. Between 2017 and 2018, the previous occurrence of this kind took place. However, the current downturn is distinct from previous ones in crypto because of a chain of events that has spread like wildfire throughout the sector due to its interconnected nature and business strategies. The cryptocurrency market has weathered several devastating downturns throughout its existence but has emerged stronger each time. Looking at the same technical indicators that were best at forecasting price bottoms in the prior bearish cycle can help you make sense of the signs of change in the current bear market. A bear market in cryptocurrencies. What exactly is that? When prices in the market as a whole are going in a downward trend, we say the market is in a bear market. It sees regular use in the cryptocurrency sector as well as more traditional markets like stocks, bonds, real estate, and commodities. If the value of major cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin, has fallen by at least 20% from their most recent peaks and continues to fall, we are in a bear market for cryptocurrencies. Conversely, a crypto bull market is one in which the value of major crypto assets continues to rise. Is there a way to predict when the cryptocurrency market will go into a bearish phase? Any trader or investor should keep an eye out for the following warning signs. The decrease in trading activity may be an indication that investors are hoarding their cryptocurrency reserves in anticipation of a market recovery. When the futures price of an asset falls below its current market price, a condition known as backwardation exists. There is a technical indicator known as a death cross when an asset's 50-day moving average falls below its 200-day moving average. When a bear market in cryptocurrencies occurs, what happens? The typical progression of a bear market includes four phases. Initial stages are characterized by high costs. After this period, investors begin to pull out of the markets and cash in their gains. During the second stage, negative changes are seen in previously optimistic economic indicators, asset prices, and trading activity. Investors who give up as they see no way out are said to have capitulated. The third phase is when speculators enter the market, which causes an increase in both price and trading volume. The fourth and final stage sees crypto's decline continue, albeit at a slower pace. Over time, investors are drawn back to bear markets by the promise of lower prices and more optimistic news, and the market eventually recovers to become a bull market. Why does the price of cryptocurrency keep dropping? A bear market occurs just before or after a recession. Key economic indicators such as employment growth, wage growth, inflation, and interest rates are closely monitored by investors to determine the economy's health. Numerous symptoms of the COVID-19 pandemic were slightly different, and the economy was in jeopardy as a result of widespread closures, high unemployment rates, and social isolationism. If the economy is in a downturn, investors expect company profits to fall sharply. Investors flee the market, pushing down prices and further dampening the economy's growth potential. 
rising unemployment and shaky economic conditions are two possible outcomes of a bear market. Indicators, what are they exactly? Indicators are clues, cues, or markers that evaluate a single aspect of a program and show how well it follows the desired path and produces the desired outcomes. They are used to track the actual and measurable results of a project. They are a bridge between theory and practice in project planning. They should be established prior to the launch of the project and allow us to track or evaluate whether or not the project achieves its goals. And it is a metric that helps you evaluate the success of your initiatives. Commonly, indicators are a reflection of observable events or modifications associated with the project's intervention. They provide evidence that something has happened, such as a product being produced, an immediate effect occurring, or a gradual shift being observed. These are the top three warning signs that the cryptocurrency market is about to crash. Number one, simply moving average of the past 200 days. The 200-day simple moving average is widely considered to be the most important moving average for traders and investors around the world. Typically, the end of a bearish trend is signaled when prices rise above the 200-day simple moving average and close the day above it. The longer the asset's price remains above the 200-day SMA, the more convincing the signal. Number two, the Relative Strength Index Oscillator The Relative Strength Index is another useful technical indicator that can help investors gauge the strength of the current buying and selling RSI. When looking for RSI reversal signals, longer timeframes typically provide more useful information. For the more cautious investor, a weekly RSI break above the 50 mid-level could signal the end of a bear market. Number 3. 3 times Multiplier of the Moving Average the four-year simple moving average SMA, which tracks the halving period every four years, is another signal of a bear market bond. When looking at a monthly chart, crypto investors should use the 48 periods SMA, 4 by 12 months. Each time Bitcoin's price dropped below the 48 SMA before rising again, it signaled the end of the bear market. When do you think the current bear market will end? Looking at previous bearish cycles and price bottoms can help you make a more accurate prediction of when the bear market will end. Have things settled down at last? The market's turbulence has no clear end in sight, but analysts forecast further suffering as crypto companies battle to reduce debt and process customer withdrawals. According to CoinShares' head of research, cryptocurrency exchanges and miners could be the next to go under. Butterfield warned that we feel that this pain will spill over to the crowded exchange industry. Due to the saturated nature of the market and the fact that exchanges benefit from economies of scale, new casualties are likely under the current conditions. Recognized leaders like Coinbase are feeling the effects of the market downturn. In an effort to reduce expenses, Coinbase laid off 18% of its workforce recently. As digital currency prices have dropped, trading volumes on U.S. crypto exchanges have also plummeted. Meanwhile, Butterfield warned that crypto miners who use specialized computing equipment to settle blockchain transactions could also be in trouble. They have also seen examples of potential stress where miners have allegedly not paid their electricity bills, potentially alluding to cash flow issues. This is probably why some miners are selling off their assets. The miners' work is not without expense, as they need a steady supply of electricity to power their machines around the clock. In your opinion, what will happen in the crypto world in the near future? Tell us what you think in the comment box that can be found below. And with that, we will see you in the next video. We truly hope that you had a good time watching the video. Additionally, we rely on the support of our audience. Therefore, viewers, please subscribe to our channel so that you can witness more incredible evaluations.